Going carnivore in Thailand, day number 34. Well, it's uh, about 9.30 in the morning. Been in the pool for the last hour and 15 minutes or so. Uh, we're still doing fine. I mentioned on a previous video that I am really going to cut back on fat consumption for right now. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not the right thing to do. But everybody says, well, carnivore diet, you burn fat. Well, it's, I believe you. But perhaps I want to burn the fat that I'm carrying around on my two feet other than the fat that comes in a steak. So everybody says, well, go on the beef, bacon, butter and eggs diet. Well, bacon, you don't get much more fat than in bacon. Beef, that's fine. Eggs, that's fine. Butter, I'm cut, I cut out my coffee uh, last night. Noe used butter in a skillet to sear the steak, which I actually like doing better. But what we end up doing on that, little, little uh, amateur tip here, after I sous vide it for a number of hours, it doesn't matter whether it's four, five, six, seven, two, two will be, it'll be done in two for sure. But will it be as tender as if you did for six? My experience says no. That that it renders the beef a little bit easier to chew, a little bit more tender, and, and it tastes delicious. But Noi ended up, instead of using the air fryer, she puts butter in a pan, gets it real hot to a point where the butter is about ready to burn. And after salting and peppering the steak she sears it on all sides but before she does that she trims off all the fat she can find whether it's in the middle of the ribeye or whether it's around the edges just trim that off uh, i told her if she wants to eat it she can eat it if not we can just keep it for fat or whatever you want to do with it or we can render the fat, I don't know. But the big thing is, I don't want the fat. Uh, not right now. I wanna really try to maximize weight loss. And if all the doctors like Dr. Barry and everybody that I listen to who say that, you know, the carnivore diet is supposed to be burning two parts fat to uh, one part protein or you're supposed to be eating two parts fat to one part protein. Well, that's true for somebody who's been on a carnivore diet for a, a period of time, has gotten down to very near their perfect weight, and they're not carrying around a lot of visceral fat with them. They need that fat to think, and you know your brain needs it. Uh, but if you're trying to lose weight, I don't think you need it. So I'm trying to cut the living daylights out of it. Uh, I'm using the chicken tenders as a snack. There's virtually no fat in them. Uh, not, not the way we're cooking them. So that's just a tip for today. What I've been doing right now, I've got a two inch thick ribeye in the sous vide. I'll let it cook for six hours. I've got to take the car in for service. It, uh, and when I come back from the servicing of the car, I'll probably have that ribeye. And that'll probably be my, my big meal to get started anyway. So... That's all, folks.